this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Liebert! And I'm not only going to be joined by Liebert today, because I'm also going to be joined by... Come on, hurry up, bye! Come on quickly, bye, as fast as you can, bye, oh I can see someone, um, uh, wee wee, wee wee, wrong, wrong bedroom, um, uh, other side of the hallway, that's Henry and Hilda's room, <laughs> oh dear, I'm also gonna be joined by wee wee, who hasn't been in my lovely world for a little while and might not remember his way around my house, then again, it is a, a little bit confusing, it's like a maze, to people that haven't been in my house before, when they try and walk around, I've literally got to hold their hand or, I don't know, make them hold the end of a piece of string and then, like, pull them around the place, otherwise they get lost. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to be joined only by uh, Wee Wee and Lee Bear. I'm also going to be joined by Squishy! And, of course, Esther. It's nice to finally have my lovely world filled up with friends again. It's always nice when me and Lee Bear are building together, uh, but it's good when we have more people uh, to play some of our games with. So let's not waste any time whatsoever, and uh, let's, of course, begin, as we always do, uh, by going to the uh, the love garden uh, to tell you all who is the uh, the lucky person uh, who is the uh, the newest addition uh, to my garden of signs, my garden full of lovely people uh, on signs, and the uh, the new addition today is Eleanor. And the reason I'm Ellen, uh, adding Eleanor is because she sent me this picture of a stampy cat face she made out of only flowers, <laughs> and she said it took her about an hour to gather up all of the flowers, and it was difficult to make because uh, they kept blowing away in the wind. But I thought it was a uh, uh, such a pretty and uh, creative thing to do. I wanted to say thank you so much uh, for sending me the uh, the picture and welcome to my love garden. Wait, wait a minute Lee. Is, is there something that I'm forgetting? I think I, I think I forgot to do something that I very rarely forget to do and that is to eat my cake. I, let's have breakfast on in the, uh, the love garden, shall we? You don't mind, Eleanor. I won't get any crumbs on your sign. I, I promise. I'll be careful. Nom, 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 nom. That's filled me full of energy, and I'm now ready for the race, the race to the doghouse. And because I want to be quick today, we're going to have just uh, uh, no shenanigans, no gimmicks, uh, straight up, fast as you can, to the to the, uh, the doghouse. And <laughs> I can kind of see in the background, you see all of my, my sheep jumping up and down, all of my very colourful sheep. Um, we've been building lots of things out of wool recently, and so the, uh, the pen is getting a little packed over there, it just makes me laugh. Anyway, no more distractions, and no ender pearls either, Lee Bear, I saw that. A straight up running race to the doghouse house. You have to go in three, two, one, go, 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 go. I'm going to go for the love heart and I am off. Oh no, I think that was a good start. Oh, we're neck and neck. We're exactly neck and neck. Oh, I think I pulled slightly ahead. This is normally where Lee Bear does better. I'm going to do his tactic and jump down. I couldn't get through the door though and oh, Lee Bear was able to, to win the race. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Squashy and Wee Wee, Wee, Wee were the, uh, the real winners uh, because they were here before even us. Uh, anyway though, Lee Bear, you did win the race so uh, you can decide uh, who you want uh, to have joining us. Uh, in uh, today's video, and it looks like he wants Benton. Not a bad choice. And Benton uh, is sitting up here on the uh, the top uh, of the uh, the little ramp here. As a Benton, if you can follow us, uh, we're going to go and play the uh, the new game. So. Uh, the game we're playing today uh, is the uh, the fireworks themed minigame that I mentioned in the, the last episode and the reason we're playing it is uh, to decide uh, who is going to be the uh, the employee of the uh, the month in my firework shop. Uh, my firework workshop. My firework shop. That's it. That's what I called it. The firework shop. <laughs> it's a really confusing name, isn't it? And oh, also I added, um, uh, you see these columns? I added a, a bit of a colour uh, going down just because I thought it looked uh, a little bit nicer. But apart from that, uh, we've not built uh, anything uh, new uh, inside of here. So yeah, whoever wins uh, uh, today's game is going to have their sign uh, up here inside of the uh, the workshop saying that they are the best person uh, working in the the shop and uh, this is the game down here it's um it's pretty simple actually it's not uh, the biggest and most uh, extravagant game I've ever built uh, but it's probably uh, hopefully uh, one of the uh, the most fun and that's because it's uh, made entirely with fireworks and it's called fizzbang and a uh, fizzbang uh, was actually the the name I had originally come up uh, uh, came up with for the the actual shop uh, but they ended up 
up changing that name and so instead I decided to call this game Fizzbang. And the reason it's called Fizzbang is because I thought it was a funny name and it kind of works with fireworks. So <laughs> that's the uh, the reasoning. So uh, you can uh, sit down here and uh, you can go and uh, watch us playing and uh, stay away from all the fireworks because you do not want to let your dogs out when fireworks are going off. It's very dangerous and they often get scared. Anyway, so what we're going to do is it's kind of like a memory game and it will make sense more when we actually play it. But inside of this chest here, there's a whole load of colourful blocks. And uh, inside of these dispensers, there are fireworks. And uh, I wouldn't step backwards if I was you, Lee Bear, because woo, there goes a firework. And you can see that the colour of the firework is the same as the uh, the block the dispenser's on. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. We're going to grab the wall uh, from the, the chest and we're going to build uh, along here, along this wall, 25 blocks of wall in a random order. We are then going to press the uh, the buttons on here uh, that are going to go off in the, the same colour. So say if I had yellow, blue, red, green, I'd press yellow, blue, red, green on here and the fireworks would go off and then the person on the other side of the wall who can't see the uh, their trail of wall will be watching them blow up and they will then need to try and copy the pattern with their fireworks. And then if they get it right, the person will pull a lever to say correct and if they get it wrong, you guessed it, they're going to pull the lever uh, to say it's wrong. And uh, we're going to do it uh, in five block intervals, uh, which kind of means we're going to do the first five, and if they get all of them, the next go, we're going to do the first ten, all in one big row, and then fifteen, and then twenty, and then at the end, twenty-five. And we're going to see uh, who is the uh, the better at remembering the, the order of fireworks. So um, I think that I think that makes sense, and if it doesn't, uh, it will make sense uh, very soon. So, has Lee Bear grabbed the wall from here? Yep, looks like Lee Bear has claimed this side as his own. Uh, so you can go along now, Lee Bear, and uh, start placing all of your blocks uh, along in a, a row. And uh, I'm going to go and do the, the same here. So I don't really need any of these tools and things, uh, so let's get them out of the way. And uh, let's go and grab all of my different coloured uh, pieces of wall. So let's start with this colour, and then green down there. And uh, I think it's kind of a... Uh, a good idea to kind of do some patterns like this so they kind of stay the same for a bit and then change just to make it really confusing and uh, now I'm going to go for just complete random anarchy I'm going to go completely crazy uh, changing colors randomly and then I'm going to do like a few in a row like this just to make things confusing with purples and reds at the end and uh, then we're going to end at the very end with a green and then a yellow so this is my tricky pattern uh, which I've come up with uh, I don't need the uh, the rest of this uh, wall anymore uh, so I can put this uh, away way in here and uh, I can go and uh, grab my bread and uh, Lieber uh, you can you can go first so now I need to watch really carefully at the uh, at the skies because uh, Lieber should start uh, launching his uh, his fireworks and there we go I saw a little bit of his, his head, head there <laughs> so he's gonna start launching his fireworks and I need to remember the order so it's red red and then blue red red blue green Red, red, blue, green, purple. Now I need to do the uh, the same pattern. So it's a uh, red, red, blue, green, purple. There we go. That's the uh, the pattern that I thought it was. And now I just need to to look at the the lanterns. And if the the correct light goes on, yay! I got it right. Hello, Lee. Peekaboo, peekaboo. <laughs> okay, I need to make sure I don't see uh, any of your your colours. So there we go. Uh, you can switch the uh, the correct light off now, and it's now my go uh, to to fire my ones in the uh, the sky and to uh, see if Lee Bear can get them right. So I need to to look at the the order here, make sure I actually do it right. So it's this colour. Uh, Lee Bear can't actually hear me, so I can say it. So it's blue, uh, blue, and then green, green. So I do green. And then it's going to be another green. And then the last one is purple. You can see that the, the torches uh, mark uh, the first five along here, so I won't get confused. And now all I need to do uh, is watch Lee Bear firing his rockets to see if he gets it right. So it's a blue and then another blue. Very good. Now it should be two greens if he gets it right. Yep, two greens. And then the last one is a purple. And that is correct. Well done, Lee Bear. But now things are going to get even more difficult. Now he's going to be doing the first ten the first 10 of his colours in a row and I need to try and remember all of them uh, in one go so uh, this is where things are going to get even more difficult I'm going to try and remember uh, by singing it in a song because I think that's the only way I can remember so let's see if we can do this it goes red and then it was it red again yeah red red then green I think was it maybe no blue red red blue green purple so red red blue green purple red 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 blue green purple red blue red red 
blue, green, purple, red, blue, green, green, purple. Oh, I think I've got confused already. Well, let's just see how many I can do. Uh, so it was um, uh, red. Um, is this right? Red, red, blue, green, purple. And then was it red, green, green, purple, I think? Green, green, purple. I think that might have been what it is, but I wasn't sure. It is really, really hard <laughs> to remember that. Oh no, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. So I have failed. Uh, so Lieber, you can't come round, but I can go here. Uh, Lieber, if you stand on the uh, which one I got wrong, and then I can count along and uh, see what my score was. See if I got anything right. Uh, so I got this first one wrong here. So which means I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven wrong. Right, so Lee Bear needs to try and get seven uh, to draw with me uh, or more uh, in order to, to win and go into the, the next round. But before I forget, I'm going to go and put that sign down there. So Lee Bear, you need to, to watch carefully now as I'm going to go and launch my ones and see uh, if he can do better than me. And uh, to be honest, I reckon that he will be able to do uh, better than me because uh, I didn't do that well. So I got uh, it's uh, blue and then blue again and then green and then green again, and uh, then it was purple, and this is where it might get a little bit confusing, because it's purple, and then it's blue, and then it's purple again, and then it's blue again, and then it's red, then yellow, so then red, and then yellow. So that might either be extra confusing or extra easy, but um, uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see uh, how well uh, Lee Bear does. So he now needs to go and uh, start pulling his levers and see if he gets them right. And it's nice that it's become uh, nighttime as well. It makes it a little bit more dramatic. You can see the, the fireworks better. So there we go. He's got them all right so far. Should be a green now. The next one should be a purple. Oh, he's hesitating a bit. I think he's got a bit confused. And yes, he got it though. He got the, the purple and now it should be blue. Yep, he got that one again. And now purple again. Is he going to be able to do it? Oh, he seems a bit confused. No, he did red. He got it wrong. He, I did confuse him with that part, which means that Lieber uh, has uh, got it wrong. It doesn't really matter uh, what he does next because, uh, yeah, he wasn't able to, to get them ones right. So I would pull the lever to say that he got it wrong, uh, but he's already pulled it down. So uh, let me just go and just switch his lever up and pull my one down just so uh, he knows that he didn't get it right. So how many did he do? He got the this purple wrong. So he got one, two, three, four five, six. Oh, he only got six. This is the one he got wrong. So he did red instead of purple, which means uh, he only got uh, six. So let me go and uh, put his score down. Uh, I think I was uh, pretty tricky uh, with the uh, the ordering that I did. And so that means that I was able to, to beat Lee Bear and I'm going to be going uh, into the uh, the final. So no worries, Lee Bear. It's a very, very difficult game. And I know because I was playing against you. <laughs> right then. So it's now going to be uh, Squashy going up against Wee Wee. So Lily, uh, Lily, sorry, uh, Lee Bear, uh, if you go and um, grab your shears, uh, we can go and uh, clean up all of the the wall that we put down and then we can go and put it back into the uh, the chest and then the game will be ready and set up uh, for uh, Squashy and Wee Wee uh, to go up against each other. So whoever wins out of this game uh, is going to be going up against me uh, in the uh, the grand final uh, to see uh, who the uh, the employee of the uh, the month is uh, going to be. So let's go and uh, put all of this wall uh, away in here. I can go and grab my tools back as well and uh, oh I need to put the uh, the blue wall down here as well. And right then so uh, if you pick a side Wee Wee you can come this side if you want and uh, you can go and grab all of the the wool from the the chest and uh, just place them in a, a big row uh, along here and uh, squishy uh, you can do the uh, the same on this side so it's 25 blocks i wonder if anyone's going to be able to do better uh, than seven i would assume that they would be able to i think it might be almost impossible uh, for them to to get all 25 in a row but who knows who knows some people uh, are very very good at uh, remembering things and lieber oh lieber watch out there's a creeper there's a creeper lieber oh no nope. oh whoa did you see how far Lee Bear went? Then Lee Bear went absolutely flying. Um, make sure you um, uh, make sure you keep an eye out for for Googly's Lee Bear. It has uh, become nighttime. I don't want us to sleep though, uh, because I like seeing uh, all of the other uh, fireworks uh, going off uh, in the uh, the middle of the uh, the night. And uh, let's see. Uh, how well everyone's doing. It looks like uh, Wee Wee's finished his row and uh, Squishy's just about uh, finished hers as well. So uh, uh, Wee Wee, you want to be watching the uh, the skies now. Uh, Squishy, uh, you can go and uh, start firing the, the fireworks uh, in the uh, the same colours uh, as the uh, the pattern down here. And I don't want to uh, to say out loud uh, what the uh, the colours are uh, because I don't want to give a uh, an unfair advantage uh, to anyone watching. You can see Wee Wee there just absolutely concentrating uh, on all of the uh, the colours exploding. And oh, oh, there's a huge slime. There is an absolute 
absolutely huge slime going after me. Lee Bear, I need I need better guard duty. I need you to keep an eye out for the Googlies. That's your job. While they play, <laughs> you need to, to keep an eye out uh, for all of the uh, the Googlies. And uh, I didn't get to see all of the, the fireworks going up, uh, but luckily I can just look here at the uh, the colours and uh, see whether they got uh, whether he got them right or not. So uh, so far so good. I should I probably shouldn't uh, spoil it too much. I guess at this point uh, it doesn't really matter what I say uh, because he has to to remember them anyway. And that looks good as well. And can he get the final one? Oh, very good, very good. All correct uh, from Wee Wee's first go. There's the uh, the scary first go. You don't want to get the the first five wrong because uh, it might be a little bit embarrassing. Uh, so now Squishy, uh, you need uh, to look up to the uh, the skies uh, because Wee Wee is about to start launching uh, his pattern uh, down here. And it's time for Squishy uh, to see if she can uh, remember the um uh, the the pattern as well. So whenever you're ready, Wee Wee, uh, start pressing the uh, the buttons. And Lee Bear, I want you on guard duty. I want you to make sure uh, that we have no more Googlies trying uh, to uh, ruin our our fun game of uh, of fizz bang. And uh, let's see what the they've done for the the patterns because it's so much. Uh, about the the pattern as well as remembering it uh, there's certain combinations of uh, of colors uh, that might be uh, harder to to remember uh, than than others so uh, it's also very important uh, when arranging your your colors uh, to make sure you do it in a difficult order so it's now uh, squishy's go uh, to start firing the uh, the fireworks and uh, let's see uh, how well she can do if i stand back here i can see the uh, the row of colors as well as the uh, the fireworks going off in the uh, the sky and to see whether she's able to to get them correct and oh it looks quite Quite good let's wait for for wee wee to pull the lever and yes it was a hundred percent correct well done squishy uh, so now uh, things are getting difficult now squishy has to do the first 10 in a row and a uh, wee wee needs to try and remember them so not only uh, does he need to, to try and remember the uh, the five from before uh, he also needs to add five new ones uh, he has to remember at the uh, the same time i think uh, we're putting uh, everyone's brains to, to capacity here for the <laughs> the amount of uh, firework colors uh, they are they are able to to remember uh, but so far uh, they seem to be doing uh, pretty well so let's go and stand here and uh, we can see the, the order that he uh, needs to remember it's quite a it's quite a little sneaky one it's quite a little bit of a, a sneaky order the pattern uh, actually seems quite similar uh, to the one that I used uh, on my go very similar in fact so maybe uh, Squishy saw my go and saw that Lee Bear found it a little bit difficult to remember and uh, decided uh, to do something similar but let's see uh, how well Wee Wee uh, does uh, remembering the the order I think uh, yep, that was the uh, the final one there. That's what was the the tenth one. I'm gonna go here and try and uh, take out all of these these googlies that are, are determined uh, to ruin the game, but we're not going to <laughs> not going to to let them. And uh, let's see how Wee Wee uh, does remembering uh, the the order. So let's try and work out uh, where he is uh, on the the pattern. So I think that was that one there. No, that was that green one there. And now he should do that block there. And yes, he was able to to do the blue one. It should now be that color. Let's see if he's able to get it right. A little bit of a hesitation over there. He was able to, to get it. And this is the bit that might be a, a little bit tricky. But it looks like it's so far so good. Yes, and he got that one right again. Will he get the next one? Yes, yes, he did. He did it. He's got one more left to get right. And no! He so nearly was the first person to get 10 in a row. But sadly, the final one, he wasn't able to, to get right. I'm afraid you've got to do it, Squishy. You've got to go and pull the other uh, lever uh, just to, to let we we know uh, that sadly uh, he didn't get the 10th one right but he was able uh, to get nine in a row uh, which is the uh, the best score yet and uh, so it doesn't really matter so much because all it is is uh, to get you into the the final uh, but that is the uh, the best score uh, so far uh, so then uh, it's now uh, going to be squishy's go so we we uh, you can go and start launching the, the fireworks. Uh, so he's going to be firing the, the fireworks in this order. And actually, you know what? I think what we might do, uh, rather than uh, going and having a, a final round, I think we might just use these scores uh, to decide uh, who is going to, to be the, the winner. I think that might be a, a little bit more of a, of a fair way of doing it. So this is uh, even more important uh, than Squishy. She's not uh, just trying to, to beat Wee Wee. She is trying to, to get the, the best score uh, to win the game overall. So... Uh, she's got to get at least nine to draw a Wee Wee uh, or uh, ten or over uh, in order to, to win. So I think uh, Wee Wee's pulled uh, all ten of his um, uh, fireworks have all been launched. Uh, so now we can go and watch and uh, see how many uh, she can uh, get right. Uh, there's a becoming a day as well, uh, which does actually make it a little bit harder to, to see the fireworks. It should still be fine. Uh, they are still pretty clear, uh, but it was much easier uh, to see them when it was nighttime. And uh, so far, so good. And she's firing them really quickly. I think that might be a good tactic. 
uh, just to shoot them off as fast as you can, uh, because then that way uh, you don't have to remember them for so long. <laughs> and uh, so far, uh, she's doing very, very well. Can she keep it up? She's getting close to the, the 10 mark. She needs to get two more right, and then she would have set the record. She's drawing with Wee Wee. Can she get the last color right? And she can! That is 10 in a row from Squashy. Correct! <laughs> but it's not over yet. Even though you've won, let's see how much further we can go. So Wee Wee, you now need to do the first 15. So all 15 colors in a row. Let's test Squishy and see how many she can remember. So no matter what, uh, she is going to be the employee of the month. But let's just see if she can go even further and uh, remember more than 10 in a row. I don't know how she got 10, to be honest. <laughs> I was amazed that I got 7, but she managed to get uh, all 10. And it looked like uh, she did it very easily. I think the, the tactic of trying to, to do it really fast was a good one. And oh, there's a little bit of cake down here. Num, num, num. Don't mind if I do. I'm sorry, Ben and you can have a bit more of the cake as well. I won't steal it all from you. <laughs> anyway, in the, the background, uh, you can see all of the other uh, fireworks uh, going off. Uh, it doesn't really matter about watching them uh, because I know he's just doing this uh, order along here and I can see uh, what they're, they're going to, to be anyway. The exciting time is uh, once he's done all 15 of them and uh, Squishy has to try and remember the, the order. You can see uh, how intently uh, she's staring up on, on the, uh, the fireworks. I'm amazed she can even see them with that helmet almost covering her eyes. <laughs> right, this is it. She's going straight to, to doing the, the fireworks. Let's see uh, if she's going to be able uh, to get over 10 in a row. I think even getting 10 in a row again uh, would be a, a small achievement in, her, in itself, uh, but let's see uh, if she can go even farther. So she got the green one. She's now going for that color. Yes, it now needs to be this color. She is doing it so, so fast. You can see uh, just how confident she is. Or oh, A little bit of a, a pause there, but she was still uh, able to, to get it right. And uh, she's almost at the uh, the 10 mark again. Just one more, and then she would have at least equaled her last score. Can she get the color right? Oh, I think she's a bit confused, but no, she managed to get it right anyway. And uh, now this is uh, to get 11 and set a new record, and she did it. She was able to, to get 11. Do you think she can get the uh, the full 15? She's doing well. Can she get the rest of them? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that was right. That was right sorry she was able to, to do it. I thought there was only two there but there was three and she got the next one as well can she get the final one to make it 15 no the final one was wrong which means that she was still able to get 14 in a row, uh, which is exactly double uh, what uh, what I got, and uh, way uh, better than what everyone else got. So there we go. There is a uh, Squishy's score down here. So the uh, the final score is a uh, Squishy with 14, Wee Wee with nine, uh, me with seven, and a uh, Lee Bear uh, with six. So that means that Squishy is the uh, the Fizz Bang champion and also uh, the uh, employee of the uh, the month at the uh, the fire workshop. So uh, if you take this sign, Squishy, uh, you can go and uh, you can place it inside of the uh, the fire workshop uh, wherever you want and uh, yeah you can be the uh, the employee of the month and uh, we always say employee of the month but uh, yeah you're kind of the employee of the month for every single month because we <laughs> never bother changing it and you know what I'm going to go and make a, uh, a very special firework just for Squishy, uh, just to say well done. So uh, I think it, of course, uh, needs uh, to be a, a yellow firework, seeing as it's for Squishy. And uh, let's go and uh, I need, obviously, the uh, the gunpowder. I'm going to add uh, a few pieces of gunpowder to make it go even higher. And uh, I need the paper as well. And uh, let's add in uh, let's add in some, um, some glowstone so it can be a nice yellow twinkly one. And uh, let's make it into a star as well, actually. Let's go and uh, add uh, a gold nugget in. Uh, so that way uh, we can make it into a star as well. So if I stand here, uh, all of my materials will be uh, being gathered here nicely. Uh, here's my paper. And uh, now all I need to do is uh, wait for the uh, the final few things, which should be uh, the glowstone and the, the nugget. Is it coming? I'm not sure if they're coming. Let me go and press the, uh, the buttons again and uh, make sure they actually got fired out. For some reason, they don't always get fired out for some reason. So it doesn't matter too much. There we go. Here has my, my glowstone has just about arrived. I don't know if that's the, the new glowstone. I think that might have been the, the old one. It just took a really long time getting here. Uh, so yeah, once my gold nugget's here, I can make a, a very special uh, firework for Squishy uh, to say well done. And uh, she can launch it and then we'll end the, the video there. So here we go. Here's my gold nugget. So if I go to the, the crafting table, uh, first I need to, to make the, the firework star. Uh, so I'm going to add in the, the dandelion yellow and uh, add the, the glowstone in and uh, the gunpowder as well. And uh, if I add the, the nugget in as well, uh, we have a, um, a star-shaped yellow twinkly one. <laughs> 
and uh, now I need to go and make that uh, into a, uh, a rocket. So I'm going to go put my gunpowder in, uh, as well as the uh, the star. And if I spread out the, the gunpowder, it will make it so it goes uh, even higher. So uh, there we go. Here is my rocket. And uh, Squashy, this is for you. <laughs> this is for you. You can launch your very special rocket because uh, you're the, the employee of the month. So if you take that, uh, we can all go outside and we can see uh, your big star-shaped twinkly rocket uh, flying uh, in the uh, the sky. And then that will be the, the end of the, the episode. So uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Uh, in the uh, the next episode, uh, we're going to be heading back over to the, the fun land and I'm going to be starting to, to build a, a brand new uh, mini game there. Uh, but for now, I want to thank Lee Bear, Wee Wee and Squishy for joining me, uh, all of you for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!